Kitchen MVP Paper Junkie and today we're going to do a, an overview, a flip through of the file 2019 Scribble Planner. So I actually got this two weeks ago um, during the file event or the file planner launch at I forgot the name, Flossum Kitchen and Cafe. So um, Filed invited a few close um, or loyal buyers and loyal supporters of Filed, their artists, and a few um, bloggers that Filed has been working with for the past few years. And we had a choice whether to choose the Scribble Planner or the Keepsake Planner. So I actually... If you notice most of the the videos in my channel, they're most um, mostly notebooks now, and either Traveler's Notebook or the Lloyd Term Notebook for bullet journaling and the Hobonichi. So I don't really use ring planners anymore. So I opted for the Scribble Planner. Um, so I'm not sure if you can see it fully, but my my tripod is. Okay, there. So this is the filed um, sleeve that came with the Scribble Planner. So I got it in, I think for file, this is called as Tiffany Green. So this comes with the Scribble Planner if you um, order it online or do the pre-order. So as usual, I'm going to say sorry for the noisy surroundings there are birds chirping and child or children screaming our neighbors are actually a bunch of different people and yeah so we have different noises you can hear in the background but anyway let's focus on the f um planner so um i had it personalized so they offer a monogramming during the event so I'm pretty sure it's the same thing for the pre-order that ends today October 27 so I got this instead of the keepsake because as I said I, I don't really use ring planners anymore and even though I wanted the pen wrap that came with the keepsake planner in the same color I opted for this one so this is what the scribble planner looks like but um, before we open it, I'll show you the other, the inside of the pouch so that it has a pen loop. It's garterized, so I think it can fit most pens. So I'm going to try to fit my Tweezby fountain pen since it's one of the biggest pens I have. So it fits there. So I love that it's garterized because it can adjust depending on the pen that's inserted. Um, the oh my goodness my TLE teacher would be mad at me but I forgot what this are called but anyway so it's gold and the upper part of the, the pouch is gold um, it doesn't really have anything inside um, it's black on the inside and it's the same so on the outside it's the filed logo and it's also in gold, so I guess that's it. So um, the other pouches, they also have the same um, idea, but only different colors for this one. Here, okay, so let's proceed to the scribble planner. So I uh, can't really zoom it out, but it's hard bound and we have a gold um, label for the scribble planner on the front. else so this came with it when I got it it's 8.5 inches by 6 inches by 0.75 inches and it's premium 100 GSM cream paper and it's Smith soon also um, the feature is suspicious and colored monthly spread with a customizable post stamp every month plus a mini calendar view of the following month 
It's patience and blank weekly pages with tips each week to keep you out of boredom and a mini calendar view. Oh, that's interesting. Starts on January 1, 2019 and it includes a back pocket and ribbon bookmark. So um, this also features different local artists here in the Philippines so you can see um, artworks, um, sticker sheets and some leisure activities for each year for the following year i'm sorry and then plus two perforated postcards inside so i haven't really opened this even after we got home from the event because i wanted it to be filmed and i've been really busy with work and other stuff and i only film during mornings or afternoons since natural light is better than the light i currently have and whenever i try to film there are shadows from the camera's angle Okay, so let's open it. So the first page is pretty much the same as the cover. And here we have, oh, I missed the page. Okay, so um, I think just the three words to start your year or maybe your three words for the year that you would want to focus on. Um, I still haven't figured it out yet, but usually I do one word for the year. And then you can but here um, when you purchase the planner and just a simple um, label just in case your planner gets lost or you leave it behind um, maybe you can put also your contact number or email address depending um, on your level of comf comfortability whether or not you expose your number or email so there's a hashtag maybe you, you need to put that whenever you post it um, next year Next pages are the calendar for 2019, um, dates to remember, local holidays and international celebrations, um, a map, oh sorry a map, a calendar for 2020 and then 2021. And so here you have a playlist of your year for 2019. You can create by using a song that best describes your life each month. Oh. That's nice. I may. This is useful for me since I really love music. And I think it's pretty much interesting. Then we have here best decision you've ever made. So I think you just need to fill this out. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13. Um, maybe one for each month. And then some notes on what you put here or maybe your re realization at the end of the year um, you have here movie marathon so um, what's this uh, 12 movies to sum up your life okay so um, I think that it's, it's different for each um, day or maybe you can do it like answer answer one for each month that's another way to go about it so this is the New Year, New Year's. Oh, um, it's I think it's the cover page for the month, the month of January. I'm sorry. So, what I'm gonna do is just I'm going to um like specify what's in it for each month, and then I'm just going to do a simple flip through since I think it's going to be redundant if I do it for every month. So um, let's focus on January first, for example. So it features every month. It features an artwork from a local artist, and you can see the artist's Instagram handle here. So um, if you would want to follow their um, the, the the artists, then you can do it um, by following their Instagram handles. And then I believe one signifies that it's for January. And then if you go to the next page, it's. A monthly view of the whole month so you can put um, birthdays here important events schedules depending on however you plan to use it and then there's a cute little stamp like um, icon here and then you can draw your own stamp design in the following pages so we can see that maybe for the next month and then there's a sh um, small calendar view of the next month the following month so that at least you can pre-plan some stuff that you need and it won't and you don't need to um, flip over to February to just check like what day this day this um, date 
falls um, into and then just list down looking forward to maybe for this month or the next month and then I think there's there are challenges for every month so quote a song lyric to describe your month and then maybe you can write it here or you can write it here or you can write it anywhere you would want to and then here so this is what the weekly um weekly layout looks like so you have here very as mentioned by the tag that came with it there's a very spacious um there are very spacious pages for you to write in your plans or whatever you want to if you want to combine planning and journaling in one planner then it's okay i do that sometimes um so this one's dated so you can see here it's monday tuesday wednesday thursday and then the date beside the day of the week and then i think these um it would have every week um, a challenge or whatever so here it's there's tip number one to fight boredom put a bar of soap in the microwave to make soap cloud then you have the the calendar for january here just so as i mentioned you don't need to flip through and flip through and flip through so that's what it looks like basically so we're just going to do a flip through so the challenges and then the tips are actually um um present for each week so you also have that cute little stamp at the left upper left part and then the small calendar here and then there's a question that's consistent um whoops weekends over what's the highlight of your week so maybe that's um your way to review what happened during the past week okay and i think that's basically it so i'm just going to do a quick a quick flip through for february until december and then let's see at the end of the pages um the last part of the pages what else you would see okay we also have here the expense tracker so monthly there are expense trackers and then some notes maybe um if you want to um just wrap up so there are two pages for the notes if you want to wrap up the month or you have anything you would want to write or remind yourself about some plans or notes for school for example or ideas for your passion project so yeah so this i'm, I'm actually doing the flip through now i just didn't see the expense tracker and then the notes page first so let's start with february page for December but um, the last part is uh, the perforated postcard that was mentioned in the label so we have here little miss sunshine and into the wild so oh here's the notes maybe this is the notes part for December so there are no um, other pages for it but only we have here um, the contact um, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and Instagram for filed, and then the planner artists for this product for the scribble planner. And um, I don't know if you noticed, but there's also a gold bookmark in place. You you want if you want, for example, to just mark one month or the current week. And then that's 
it. And I think we have also the back pocket here. I can open it. So there. You can see that there's a back pocket. And I think we're good. So I apologize for just doing the flip through and review today, but the last day for pre-ordering the Filed Scribble Planner and Keepsake Planner is today, October 27. So if you would want to purchase your own, because I'm not sure if in the regular um, selling dates the, the freebies would be available. So for the Scribble Planner, it comes with this pouch. And then for the Keepsake Planner, it comes with a pen wrap and... You can also get your stuff, either your pouch or your pen or your planners uh, monogrammed or personalized through your initials or your nickname, whatever you choose. So if you want this, go ahead to fileasia.com and buy your own scribble planner. And please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you like the content and the way this flip through went, went through. I don't know. So I'll see you in my next video. Bye.